Welcome. You are watching Line Screw One. Well, hello, tubers. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in this crazy YouTube universe. Today I'm doing the video from inside the RV because it's kind of wet and dreary outside. And uh, the sun's actually going down, so it's, it's almost nightfall here. So I am back from the old country. Yes, I am back from my wanderings in Europe. And, uh, you know, I had a great time. It's always nice to get over to that side of the pond, get over to the old country, see how the old country people are doing. And it's always fun. And, you know, I find London full of friendly people. It's one of the bigger cities that actually has friendly people. Maybe it's the fact that I'm extroverted and I will talk to just about anybody, but I've always found London to be that way for a big city, which is good for them. Especially in the pubs, you know, <laughs> wherever there's people that drink, you know, people tend to uh, be a little more exuberant. Oh, mine's Sammy the Pooper. Sammy the Pooper is back out of the kennel. She's uh, busy grooming. And I did uh, contract the uh, COVID. Yeah, starts with a C, ends with a D. Yeah, but I'm over it. I had that briefly. I thought it was just a cold until I tested positive. <laughs> I think I have a little bit of a scratch here from the dog. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. I think she was jumping around, being a little exuberant. <laughs> but, you know what? I am um, negligent in my duties. Uh, you know, it's all about the Carolyn, and I, I feel like, uh, you know, when, when Dad's away, the kids will play, and that's exactly what Carolyn's been doing, because, you know, as I've been over in Europe, I really have been remiss. I have not had the time to focus on watching Carolyn, but since I was doing a little bit of recovery there in isolation, I realized, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, she sometimes gets out of hand when she loses track of my mature conservative guidance but i guess that is my fault because i was away and i did not give her the alimony money in advance to join me in europe so that really the blame is all mine carolyn i am very sorry that i did not throw you some uh, shekels to, to come on over so uh i'll set the record straight and I will interpret, because I know you guys love me interpreting what Carolyn's doing. And we have made great strides of improving her channel over the years. But she occasionally backslides, like many people. She's just like a person like anybody else. She backslides a little bit here and there. And there's two videos that need to be discussed. For example, the first one, <laughs> where she talks about how you can RV on $1,000 a month. Oh boy, oh boy. She is being like the Bob Wells cheap RV living guy, <laughs> being a purveyor and prophet of poverty. <laughs> hey, folks, as you know, I don't do this for a living, but I have been living in my RV longer than Carolyn, being completely self-funded out of my own wallet. If she would have done a video that said, you know, you can RV on $3,000 a month, I would have probably given her a pass and go, yeah, you probably can because I've done it. I've done it. Now, that number should probably be as high as possible, even higher than that. But when she cranks out a video of $1,000 a month, she is actually being socially irresponsible and setting people up for incredible failure and misery and I would even say personal tragedy. Now, I don't do that here. And you don't have to send me money for me to speak truth and just set the record straight because the last thing I want to do is set people up for failure. No, but Carolyn, she don't care. She don't care $1,000. As a matter of fact, I would say $1,000 a month, and we'll, we'll talk US dollars. That, that's kind of like the minimum threshold just to pay for a decent RV pad a month. Because, you know, a lot of the cheaper ones, there's a lot of riffraff, and the barrier to entry to having a higher price bar tends to keep the miscreants and the people with the, you know, substance abuse and criminal background behavior tends to keep them out. That's just the way life is. That's why people have gated communities. That's why, that's why not everybody can live on Park Avenue. Because the money is the barrier to entry. Now, when she says $1,000 a month and that's going to pay for everything, oh, no, 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 no. You're setting yourself up for some horrible misery. You're not going to be properly insured when you have a catastrophic um, you know, failure with your vehicle, like, like a car accident, for example, or an RV accident, I guess we could call it. 
how are you going to just pick up the pieces and move on when you don't have collision? Because you're going to need proper collision, comprehensive fire, theft, all those things. You're going to need to travel. Gasoline, very expensive now, folks. Very expensive. Healthcare, how about the healthcare? How about the deductibles? <laughs> yeah, she kind of brushes over that kind of stuff. She talks about how expensive her Starlink is. Well, you don't really need Starlink. No, you can get by without that. But good for her to having you pay for her Starlink. <laughs> Even though I could afford Starlink, do I need it? No, not at all. Not at all. Sammy, oh, Sammy's even throwing her two cents worth in with her little grumbles. <laughs> the bottom line is, folks, thousand bucks a month is incredible poverty living. You're not going to enjoy yourself at all. There's no money for entertainment, going anywhere, doing anything, eating properly, seeing the dentist. It's just setting people up for failure. And like I said earlier, probably three thousand dollars a month is more realistic and even then even then you're gonna have that odd month where your transmission goes or you know your dog dies and you need a hip re replacement <laughs> who, who knows life just hits you it just hits you and you gotta be prepared financially or you're screwed and these people that go on YouTube like Carolyn and, and tell you that it's all sunshine and lollipops on a thousand dollars month <laughs> like they're really kidding themselves there are places in the world you could live all right on a thousand US dollars a month. Yeah, there are places like India, <laughs> certain areas of the Philippines. Yes, the Philippines, where I am heading. <laughs> Perhaps Vietnam, uh, rural areas of Indonesia. Y you get what I'm trying to say here, folks. Living in the excited states of America in your RV and living well and making bank on a thousand bucks a month. No, 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 no. Don't believe it. It's a lie. It's, it's, it's actually socially irresponsible for anybody to even advocate that you can live on a thousand dollars a month in an RV. Trust me, I, I do this. I do this not for a living, but as a living. I spend multiples of that. And do, do you see me living in some sort of Taj Mahal lifestyle? Yeah, sure, I can afford some vacations. Sure, I've got a car, motorcycles, things like that, you know, over the years. Yeah, that's because I want to live like a normal person. I assume you want to live like a normal person. That requires money. Yeah, money. Not what Carolyn's RV life is trying to push there on the $1,000 agenda. No, you crunch the numbers. Your life will suck big time if you try to do that. So don't do it. Getting on to the second video. Oh, Carolyn, you've just been so bad when I've been gone in Europe. You've just been you just off the hook <laughs> with the madness. Now, the funniest thing, though, is one of her latest videos where she, she calls herself cranky, which I think is so funny because for the last five years, everybody has called her Cranky. That has been her nickname. It has been her nickname. You see it in the comment sections all over the place. Not on her channel because she don't allow any uh, <laughs> any comments that she don't agree with. But that has been her name, Cranky. And now she's embracing it. So I say congratulations, Carolyn. At least your ego has dropped a little bit from a few weeks ago when you said you had the it factor. <laughs> Funny how her personality keeps swinging back and forth. It's a little bipolar-ish. I don't know why. Perhaps she needs to seek medical help. Don't know. I'm not a medical practitioner. This is just my personal opinion and observation. So she goes on to yibber-yabber about how she stayed in a state park in Ohio. And the hard-working people who actually have a job. She hasn't had a job in years. <laughs> They show up on Friday to enjoy the weekend because what have they been doing all week? They've been working. They've been working for a living, supporting their families, paying their taxes, doing as hardworking Americans respectfully do all over the great U.S. of A. Well, she rolls in on a Friday and they're singing and they're dancing and they're playing a little bit of music till midnight and she can't get 
to sleep because that because god forbid she don't get her beauty sleep she gets cranky and that's exactly what happened super cranky and the photos of her in the morning oh my god she looks horrible she looks like she needs medical attention because she she's lacking to sleep now rather than her getting off her butt and just going over and talking to the person saying hey you mind uh toning it down a little bit oh no no she's cowardly like kind of like the emails that she sends youtube about me where you know she complains to youtube that you know line screw one says youtube's not a job and you should cancel culture him <laughs> Apparently she can't do the keyboard warrior stuff at an actual RV park and confront somebody and be an adult about it and say, hey, you're making a little bit of noise. Now, oh no, so she complains to us on the YouTubes in the morning and she looks disheveled and horrible. Whether she made herself look that way or not, I don't know. Maybe it's artistic license. Don't know. But she was not looking very good at all. And on top of that, she wants her $36 back because <laughs> she didn't get a proper night's sleep. She wants that money. So it's not funny. Good luck with that, Carolyn, getting your $36 back for your state park admission for your one night. But good for you for actually opening up the wallet, Carolyn, because you've been so busy trying to live on that $1,000 a month and not paying any rent and not throwing all that money that everybody else on YouTube gives you back into the U.S. economy. That's what you need to do. If I, look, I'm, I'm Johnny Nobody. I'm throwing thousands of dollars every month, year after year, into the economy, and it's my own generated cashola. If I can do it, why can't you do it, Carolyn? You talk about about you're being an independent strong woman well well guess what <laughs> I guess I'm a strong independent woman because I'm doing it independently without even being a woman yeah now could I identify as a woman yes I could do I no I don't <laughs> but Carolyn's always playing both ends against the middle to make herself look out like she's a victim and how everybody is horrible when all these people in that campground wanted to do was enjoy themselves over the weekend because they had worked hard all week paying their taxes paying their bills and supporting their family meanwhile carolyn doesn't have to do that she's not burdened with these trivialities of supporting a family paying taxes and earning an income no she don't have to punch the clock anymore because she's living off your dime well that's about it daddy is back from the european vacation to set you straight carolyn help you out give you that sound straightforward conservative advice because we've really helped you and especially my audience i mean i can't even take all the credit here at all it's the audience that has done this too have set you straight and your crazy little rants where you do crazy things they've diminished over the years so we have made improvement here and i'm very proud of my audience for doing so so thank you very much i am feeling great and i'm back here to help carolyn's rv life out again as i do all the time so put your comments down below what you think about her crankiness and her one thousand dollar living like a queen in her rv video it's craziness talk to you soon over and out I got you, I got you, I got you